have you here at HSN. What a fantastic night we are having. Thanks to our dear friends at Lancome. Don't hang up on the buy one, get one free on the lip color. I kind of feel like this is a host pick show for me because I'm such a Genifique fan. But anyone who knows me knows I am brow obsessed. I will not leave the house without my eyebrows. I will not leave the house without lips. And we have a way, I don't care if they're sparse, if they're fine, if they're non-existent, if they're just not shaped right, leave it to Lancome to create the perfect brow pencil. Not only do you get, it almost looks like little hair, plus you get that little spoolie on the back. Free shipping, $13 on, on FlexPay. And Robert, no one knows more than you. I mean, brows really frame the face. If you don't have your eyebrows it's like you don't have your face on you know brows you got to remember this girls brows are the frame not the artwork okay? yes you want to see your eyes first not your brows walking into the room first the the really overdone brow is gone and that's why these pencils are so genius because the little hair strokes that you can get with these first of all Look at Carol's brow. Look at the lift that you can achieve with this brow pencil. But it looks soft, oh. it looks natural, and it fits the contour and the shape of her eyes. I'm gonna turn you just a little now, bit this way. Now, which color is that, Robert? This is the brown. The brown. And Carol's got that beautiful silver hair. This has a nice, beautiful, soft brown. It's not a red brown. So it's a perfect color if you have that more brown, silver, taupey color to your hair. It's a perfect color. But you can get this beautiful, um, um, soft effect that looks like little hair strokes or hair um, lines instead of just a big dark blob of brow like most brow products are on the market. So you get this beautiful coloration on your brow. This is the blonde, this is the brown that Carol had on, oh, that is and then color. that's the dark brown, which you'll see here in a minute on Angela. Oh, nice. Hey, just to give you a quick quantity update, I know you saw that limited quantity. If you want the brown that Carol's wearing, there are fewer than 1,000, FYI. If you want the dark brown, we have 800 of them, and that's it. If you want the blonde, there are only 700. So we are in the hundreds remaining at all of these. Uh, I remember remember when Robert and Lancome debuted this, I actually tried to order one and I couldn't because it sold out so quickly. And the thing is, this is like that little magic stick. If you are brow obsessed like I am, or maybe you over plucked, or maybe you over tweezed, or, you know, it's funny because we, you know, we lose our hair in our head and our eyebrows age as well. And Robert, that's the thing that really struck me about this is you, they don't look penciled on or fake. They, they look like little teeny tiny hairs. Right. You can create the look of a real brow and I'll give you a little uh, tip here S always start with your low brow first we all have one brow that's a little lower than the other oh. so always start with your lower brow first good tip and you're gonna brush up you're gonna get that little arch where you need it get that little lift you know we want to start the brow at the at the tear duct your arch should be over the pupil from your nose up through the pupil and then it should end right over from the nose to the corner of the eye so that's a great way to get that perfect arch. Again, fit the shape of your eye. Yeah. Don't do the big old blocky brow like <laughs> right. your, you know, I call it the dragzilla brow. It's <laughs> overdone. We want the brows to look natural. We want them to look fresh. We want to get a frame to our eye. And that's the blonde. That's the perfect color for Stacy. If you've got that lighter hair and you just need a little coloration to warm up your, your eyebrow area, but you want it to look natural, do the blonde. And then this is the dark brown. It has a little bit more of an auburn tint to oh. it. So it's a brownish auburn color. So if oh, you have more on the reddish pretty. tone, go with the, with the auburn. Again, we're making those little fine brow strokes. So yeah. if you need just a simple little fill-in, don't feel like you have to draw a big blocky brow on. Just get that nice little extra lift. You've got the end of it that has the little perfect comb brush to feather out the existing Pretty. strokes. And it gives you that perfect lift. Again, it's the frame, not the artwork. Right. So you want to just accent the, the shape of your eyes and get that extra lift. So maybe your eyes are a little more droopy than we'd like. <gasps> this is an easy way oh. to pick up the outer corner of your eye. She looks lifted. Yeah, she instantly. She looks lifted. It's so simple to use these, so easy to use these. But again, they're, they're a fine brow stroke yeah. with the pencil.